football, I'd go fill in on Sunday night mm-hmm. football. And then, then I'd go to wherever the wrestling city is. Ugh. If I didn't go to football, I'd go to where the wrestling city was, or if it was close to home, I'd fly home uh, early, early, early Sunday morning, and then leave again early, early Monday morning for Monday and Tuesday for wrestling and then come home Wednesday. Wow. So football season was a huge grind and you know, it's, it's, I stopped traveling February of 2020 and I don't miss it. There's not one day that goes by that I miss it. Yeah. Well, especially in today's environment, you don't travel the same way as we used to. It's gotten a lot harder, (laughs) you know? My son asked me last night, how many, how many air miles have you traveled? And I kind of went through all my accounts with him. And I'm like, well over 2 million miles. And yeah. that's just what, that's without being on like uh, private chartered planes with WWE and other companies. That's just what I can account for. Right. And uh, um, it's a lot of, that's a lot of air miles. It's an incredible amount of air miles. What people don't think about too, when they look at, what you've done and the six and being successful in that, you know, just talking about air miles. Well, somebody had to book all those flights. Somebody has to keep track of all those receipts and those expense reports and the taxi cabs and the list goes on of things that it takes to get you to that spot with your equipment, ready to shoot on time for an event. It's all that back end stuff that really can be taxing. I mean, I, I used to hate doing expense reports on, on this travel that I used to do. Yeah. Yeah. It, the, the, it's gotten better now that there's apps on your phone and with the scanning, the, the ability to scan receipts and stuff like that. But yeah, everything needs to be accounted for. Yeah. Wait, there's an app for that. I've been stuck in Montana too long. <laughs> I've got, I got a stack of receipts behind me. Yeah. Where does this business go for you? It sounds like you've got it, it mapped out and, and dialed in over the, uh, the, the COVID environment. And we're, as we come out the other side of this, uh, where does your business go and what are your visions? Yeah, we, we think it's only going to scale. And that's what we're uh, trying to do now is that these uh, hybrid events, corporate meetings, they're not going away mm-hmm. and they're not going to come back to what they were, right? It, the, the time where a thousand people globally from a company are going to come to one location is not going to happen again. Yeah. So, um, um, the, these hybrid, we call them hybrid events where there might be some people there locally, um, and the rest are all virtual. Um, that's the wave of the future. And that's only getting bigger shopping, um, online or shopping via live stream is 2022 is going to be a big year for that. Um, where you'll be able to just be watching a live stream on your phone and just say, I want that. And, and purchase it that way. Mm -hmm. Um, The other thing that we do for clients is we create web experiences through our content delivery network. So um, with the social media platforms, algorithms changing and things like that, we're, we're building TV networks for influencers and businesses and people, podcasts and video casts that their uh, all their content will be delivered to their website that we can either design or embed a custom private labeled player in their website. So it's not YouTube and it's not Vimeo. You're not associated with ads on YouTube that maybe you don't want to be associated with. Mm -hmm. You control the advertising on your website or within the player that we designed for you. And we house all the content in our cloud and it's always there at either via live stream or a VOD video on demand. Mm -hmm. Now, I like to give uh, helpful advice and tidbits to my listeners. That's the nature of of this show as well. And if if you're a listener right now and you did not hear what was just talked about by Howie, this is is gold. Where we're heading in the future of business and having the ability to capture video content and drop it on websites without the commercials, like you said, the, the unwanted ones on YouTube. And by the way, it's a great platform for getting content out there, but there's nothing like custom quality video going on to your own website, whether those are for training tools, selling tools, communication yeah. tools, the list goes on. I don't have to tell you, but for my listeners, this is the kind of technology that they need to be looking at to scale their business 
in a post COVID totally. environment and, and how we've all evolved. I mean, look, we spend more time on zoom meetings than anywhere else, but who's capturing this data and turning it into the value beyond the conversation today. Yeah. And what we tell people is post the little clips on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, right. But then drive the traffic through the post to your website. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, cause that way you own the followers. You don't own anything on any of the platforms. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm just getting ramped up on some of that stuff. I'm now embedding videos in my newsletters and I've got video content on the back end of my membership websites and I've seen the value of it tenfold. You know, people look at that as a true resource. Mm -hmm. And with these videos, especially when they're when they're content and educational driven videos and they have a life there, people receive value from that for a very long time. So it's worth the investment to hire somebody like you and your team to do that for them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I love what you're doing. We'll wrap it up here. And uh, I'm going to put your website in our show notes for everybody to find you. Any any last words or tidbits you want to throw out there? No, I appreciate your time and uh, really grateful and look forward to hopefully working with some of your listeners. Hey, I just want to give you a compliment on your website real quick. It just goes along with what we're saying. You have been on a number of podcasts and um, I see that you've put the backlinks for all those shows on your website. That is value yeah. for value, people. If you're, if you're not supporting the people that are supporting you, um, look at ways that you can. Backlinks are important. You're doing a, a great service for all those brands and those podcast shows. So just a compliment to you and how you're doing business. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, right on. Okay, well, that's the show. Thank you for tuning in. Everybody have a great rest of your week.